Hey there guys, so this evening I was just relaxing on the couch watching a bit of TV when my phone beeped because you know expeditions came back on global so I log into global I do my expeditions I decide to use some energy on the current event do the raid orbs etc etc um, while doing the um, event I got the last milestone for this week's um, adventurer crest um, I do usually pick up the adventurer crest each month and the last milestone for this week is a NV guaranteed 10 plus 1 ticket. Also, I got some EX tickets from, um, again, Milestone Rewards on the, uh, I think it's the Mall King event. And usually when I do some polls, I'll record them just in case, um, you know, they're interesting. Um, this was on my phone. Um, again, I was just watching TV during this. I hit the record when I did it. So I will watch the um, recording from my phone as I did my pulls. And we're gonna watch this real quick and then we will we will see. So yes. But based on what I'm going to name the YouTube video, you already know what, what happened. So yeah. So you know I did my EX tickets first. <clears throat> um you know these are just random stuff that build up. I do them, whatever, record them, why not? And 99% of these videos I don't upload. I'll just record them and then nothing happens or it'll be like, you know, a whatever unit and I don't care about and I'll delete the video because whatever. But sometimes, sometimes it's not another, um, you know, Luna Freya or something. So just, you know, more tickets. I used a single by accident because I was only half paying attention at this point. I clicked the single. So here's the... Um, the rest of the EX tickets. So we pulled and we got ourselves and Bosh! And we had more tickets to go. Rainbow ticket. Just using up the EX stuff. Rainbow. And we get a unit from like six years ago. One of the first seven star units. And then from the Adventurer Crest, like I mentioned, um, we had a NV guaranteed pull, so we go ahead to the NV guaranteed pull with off banners. You know, this is just a random ticket that I got from logging in, doing the the Mog Festival or whatever, with a guaranteed Neo. Well, there you go. There you go. Lunar Festival Cleom from the Mog King ticket, the EX ticket. And here you go. You can see right there, let me pause the video, the new tag. Um, I said I wasn't going to pull for her, and I had no plans to pull for her. Um, and then she just pops up from an EX ticket. So, yeah. I saw some comments, quite a few comments, um, you know, like angry players, I guess, uh, on the video I posted, when was that? Wednesday evening after we got the data mine. I was a little little disappointed, and um, I still am, um, disappointed in Cleom's kit uh, because it's not great, and the global um, unit design has been not super great for the most part there you know there are exceptions but for the most part global design has not been up to par in my opinion lately and i said i wasn't going to pull for her and there were there were quite a few com people in the comments saying like i'm lying i'm going to pull for her in secret or something which is so goofy because what would be even be the point like I don't even know the point. I mean, I realize there are some people that are just like haters and they're going to be haters you know, no matter what. And it, it's not logical. But I'm trying to understand people's, like those kind of comments. Like what would be the logic? So I like post videos of everything I do pretty much that matters in Brave X. I've been doing this for six years. Like did people think I was going to like run under a bridge and pull for Cleome, this big conspiracy, and then never show her in a video and I would suddenly just like not show my trial clears and clash clears and all because I put like what why would people even say that? But yeah, 
Some people, and a few, a few few of the comments I did remove because um, I generally don't remove comments on videos, even if they're negative. That's totally fine. But when people get like straight nasty, um, I, I will generally delete the comment. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you can see there's a bunch of negative comments in my videos. I don't like. I really barely moderate my channel. Um, people are free to say what they want as long as they keep it within reason. Don't don't just get straight up insane troll mode. But anyway, yeah. I was not just lying when I said I didn't plan to pull for her. I didn't plan to pull for her. I wasn't going to. And now here we are, um, late Sunday evening. It's actually past midnight, so now it's Monday morning. Um, she comes from an EX ticket. So, yeah. Um, now, that being said, I did just get Cleon from an EX ticket. So, I mean, I'm not like on protest against Cleon or anything. Um, I was just unhappy with the band, the unit, and I didn't really want to spend 45,000 lapis or whatever it costs for the guarantee, um, the pity. I think the pity is like 42,000, whatever it is. I wasn't planning to spend 42,000 to go for this unit because I don't think she's worth 42,000 lapis. That being said, now that I get here basically for free, I will probably spend the VIP coins, which will give me 100 fragments, we get 30 fragments from login. So for nothing more than 2200 lapis in the shard shop, that's an EX2 Cleome. For nothing but 2200 lapis and 1000 VIP coins. I've got VIP coins, it's not a problem. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm probably gonna do that. Cause it'd be, it'd be silly not to. Like I said, I'm not protesting the unit. I just didn't think she's worth 42,000. And I wasn't going to spend 42000 on her. But I'll spend 2200 on EX2. Sure. Why not? I mean, she, she does damage. And she was given to me for free. From an EX ticket. So, okay. So, yes. I'm, I'm, the, re the reason I'm posting this video, and this is the reason I record my polls, because I get those crazy comments that say I'm lying and I'm going to pull anyway. If I say I'm not going to pull a unit, I'm not going to pull for the unit. But if the unit comes to me for free, I'll use the unit. You get what I'm saying? I hope you do. So we'll go ahead and just, you know, resume. Although that, yeah, we'll go ahead and watch the rest of the video. But yeah, so if you see Cleome in future videos, you know, don't be like, Sinzar said he wasn't going to pull for the unit. I didn't plan to pull for the unit. And I wasn't going to pull for the unit because she was not worth 42000 But she's worth 2200 You know, Discount Sephiroth will be worth 2200 And I was still going through my, my polls, like, you know, why don't I do, why don't I do more while I'm on the video? But, but I had um, nothing else. And yeah, so that, that, that was my polls. And um, yeah, oh, and another video is looping. Hold on, let me pause. Um, yeah, anyway, so, okay, um, and people were asking me as well, um, where were we in the video? People were asking me too, uh, can I show some Clash of Wills clears using Cleome? And I was telling them, you know, I can't because I don't have her and I don't plan to pull for her. So I'll, you, have to, you have to look, you know, at other people's videos for how to use Cleome because I can't do it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so this video has gone longer than I expected to do like a minute and a half of phone recording. Uh, but it's, it's, it's such a headache because I already know there are going to be people posting comments that I lied and I pulled for her anyway. And oh my God, it's so... Why, do, why are people like that? Why are people like that? The, 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 like the, the, the negative comments really get under my skin sometimes. Um, but anyway... There's Cleom. I guess at some point this week, I'll do a Clash video using EX2 Cleom. So, okay. There it is. See you in a bit.